Hello friends, welcome to part 1 of our Machine Learning The Future course. Part 1 Data Preprocessing. So we have completed with the initial stages of our data preprocessing model. So we have done with our importing the libraries, importing the data set, taking care of the missing data, encoding categorical data and now will move on to our next part which is splitting our data set into training and test set. Our data set uh, consists of various kind of data such as country, age, salary and purchased. Now we want to split our data set into our training and test set. So the training set is the set on which we will build our machine learning model and the test set is the one on which we will test our machine learning model. So the machine learning model is going to learn from data to make predictions. So we'll be using our test set to test and understand whether our machine learning model has correctly understand and learn the correlation. So initially we will be providing the training set and then will test our data set of test set. So let's begin. So this is the main motto of our machine learning model. It should understand the correlation between the data and then it should predict the values on its own based on the input which we provide. Let's move on to our spider console. So let's start. So we'll be importing a class known as train underscore test underscore split which is included in scikit scikit-learn cross validation class library. So for splitting our data set into training set and test set, let's do it. So this will be our four different variables which we'll be able to see in our variable explorer once we execute this query. So let's take our class and let's provide some values. So what is this test underscore size? So the test underscore size means 20% of our observations if we can set is at 10.2. So 20% of our observations will be in test set and 80% of our data set observations will be in our training set. So that's it. I think we are done here. So what we have done is we have imported a train underscore test underscore split class and then we have created our four variables and given them the values which has x our matrix of features, y our vector of dependent variables, test size which includes 0.2 which means 20% of our data set will go into a test set and 80% of our observations will be in our training set and last is random state so let's execute this oh 
okay so see the number of variables in our variable explorer x test so first start with our x so this is our original matrix of features which is x then if you look at our x train as you can see the total number of observations in x were around 10 and if you can see over here the x train contains around 8 observations so the x test will contain the last two observations as we have set our test size to 0.2 similarly our y train will contain the 8 observations and our y test will contain the remaining two observations so we have splitted our data into training set and test set so we will move on to our next part which is feature scaling so this is the last part of our data pre-processing model feature scaling what do you mean by feature scaling so let's look into our data set if you can see our age and our salary column they are actually in a different scale so if we create a kind of relation between any two kind of rows the answer or the distance which will be dominated by the salary column so there should be a scaling dependency between the two columns of our data set so for that we are doing feature scaling so if they don't have a similar scale they will cause some issue so if we want to plot any two points let's say this data and this data if we want to plot the two points the distance between the two plots as you can see as you know in your Euclidean distance is root of x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so that will be dominated entirely by your salary column because it's in a very high range as compared to your age so we want to do a feature scaling for the same so let's move on to our spider console let's start let's import a class known as standard scalar now let's create an object of this class now let's take our variable Train and let's fit and transform this object into this variable so we'll just use the object and we'll use the function fit So this will be for our training set. And this will be for our test set. So I think we are done over here, let's execute this.
okay so let's look at our x test and extreme values so here we are let's look at the values now the values has been transformed into minus 1 to 1 range over here so the scaling problem which was earlier due to the salary and the age range because there was a vast difference between the scaling of these two variables has been completely remediated by our feature scaling method so here it is so the value of the ranges are between minus 1 and 1 which will be helpful for the in our machine learning model creation so here you'll be thinking why are we not applying the feature scaling for y but if you look at the y it's already taking a value which is between 0 and 1 so there is not a huge difference between a y vector of independent variables but if you look at the x variable before it was it was having a huge scalary and a scaling differences so we use this feature scaling to transform it so this was the last part of our data pre-processing type so that's it for this part hope you are enjoying this video series thank you bye